are flying in the boat. I don't have a limit. Hello. But I did. And then he went down and broke. Very legal. It's, it's yeah. legal. We're going to show you how to clean a lobster tail. Okie dokie, so we have decided on lobstering today. So we've got our local, Captain Jamie, who's already in the water, of course. We didn't even get a chance to say hello. Captain Jamie is a dive master, he's a captain, he is a shark feeder. He is the guy, what does he do, Emily? He feeds the sharks, he feeds the sharks on Shark Week. He's the guy. So he's already in the water. Emily's about to get her dive gear on and get in as well. Kona's right here, and we're just um, gonna jump in the water with these GoPros and see what we can find. So this is our first time using a pole spear. I've never done it, Emily's in the water, taking her first try at it. Obviously one person needs to stay on the boat, drive around, make sure that um, you know when the lobster comes up, I can go grab it from them. So it's also 18 feet deep, and Emily's an excellent diver, so she's gonna have, I think she did it. I think she did it. She's gonna have no problems getting down. I would struggle with it. Did she do it? She almost had it. So anyways, guys, I probably couldn't get to the bottom for some reason my ears don't let me, if I'm scuba diving, I can do it no problem, but free diving, I can do like 10 to 12 feet. So Emily's taking the first stab at it. I think she just missed her lobster. All right, it's cool because you can go down really fast and it's not like a tickle stick with lobsters where you gotta hold your breath, tickle the lobster out, you just go for and get the lobster, right? You just go and you aim. You just go and you aim, exactly. You gotta catch one. If we catch one, it's a success. Emily just went down again. Moment of truth. Does she come up with a lobster or a fish? I don't know. speared one I don't know the whole story and Captain Jamie went down and retrieved it for her so I'm assuming she speared it she got it she killed it but it fell off the spear the pull spear we're gonna find out in two seconds okay what happened I speared it uh -huh. I got it out of the hole and then he fell off the spear. but I did it and then he went down and grabbed it it's one lobster <laughs>
you mean? You know how to get them off? Really? You want to just hand me the yeah, whole thing? Right no? Yeah, you figured out. I figured out? Oh, oh, got it. Alright. <laughs> Shish kebab! <laughs> I got two! Two? Yes, Dang! Look at that! Lobsters are flying in the boat! That was fun and challenging. So you guys know when we lobster down in the Keys, we usually use tickle sticks and nets. So this was really fun, really different. I think I speared two. It was like one and a half. Like I speared two and I got one up, right? Yes, I got one up by myself. I'm not even sure. But we got a lot of lobsters. Okay, so that was really fun and really different. And Captain Jamie is gonna give us a bit of a lesson on how they do it here. All right, so in the Bahamas, we use <laughs> three types of different types of uh, techniques in order to get lobsters, right? As you can see to the back, we got a couple of huge ones right here, all right? So what we, what, what's this called? This is called a hook and a jook, all right? So basically, you, you get the lobster, you, you want to hook it from the bottom here, right? So you can hook them and they don't come off. And when you grab them, you take it and then you stab them right here in the middle. And then they automatically dead, right? It's very legal. It's, it's <laughs> legal to do this in the Bahamas, all right? This is one way you can get it, hook and jook. The second way is called an Hawaiian sling. All right, you guys know what this is? It has a barb on the top with a little, with a little fly, with a little butterfly uh, spare tip, and then a wooden, a wooden, uh, a wooden spare with a bungee on it. All right. So basically, you put it inside this little fitting right there. You hold it, you pull back, you aim, and then you release. Nice. All right. So this, this. This spare takes two hands to occupy this spare, and it's very effective on getting lobsters and fish. All right, this is also legal to do. All right. I have yes. option number three. Okay, so this is what I was using, which is a pole spear, and you can see it has a tip on it, right? Yeah. It's called so a slip tip. A slip put the tip, tip on, you tighten it down like this, uh -huh. and then it has this, would you call this a sling? Bungee. A bungee, bungee. and you put your hand in it, and you work your arm up the spear. Got it. And then when you okay. let go of your hand, it goes into the fish or the lobster or whatever you're doing. And so I got the hang of it. I think I aimed low a lot. Okay. But, I, but I'm, I'm learning. It's okay. Nice. So it's definitely different here that we can, legally, we can kill the lobsters. In America, we have to bring them in alive, which is why you need a net and a tickle stick. And then you have to bring them to the dock and they still have to be alive until you get to the dock. But not here. So it's different. Over here, you can kill them. You can, you can leave them dead, but you want to get the big ones and make sure they're not pregnant. It's because yes. if you kill pregnant lobsters, you're basically getting rid getting of rid them, of right? The future, so the future generation. You don't want to, you don't want to kill pre uh, pregnant lobsters, right? Yes, so before I shoot them, what I do is I go swim down and I like put, literally put my head in the hole and I count them and I see which ones are pregnant, see which ones are small. I see which ones that I can get. Nice. We've got our five biggest lobsters. One, two, three, four, five. Let's check out, check out how big this lobster is. Okay, guys, so a little fun fact. When an American comes over to the Bahamas, we can only keep 10 lobsters per boat per day, but in the United States, it's six lobsters per, per person, person per day. So if you went out in the Florida Keys with five people, you could get five times six. But if you had five people 
in the Bahamas, it's Can still just 10, 10 per day. So we got our lobsters. I had a lot of fun. Are Thanks. we gonna go back and clean them? We're gonna go back and clean them and we'll show you guys how we do that. And then we will have some surf and turf. You guys ready? We're back at the dock. And we're gonna show you how to clean a lobster tail. Amanda, yes. do you wanna come stand over my shoulder? I will stand over your shoulder. So we're gonna grab the tail, roll it in like this. Basically just gonna hold the body. This is called the carapace or the back of the lobster. We're gonna put our hand over it. And then we're gonna grip this and we're gonna twist, twist in, in opposite, opposite directions. directions. There you go. It's not always the easiest. Sometimes I recommend wearing gloves. There, there we, go. we go. Perfect. There we go. And the tail is gonna come right out. Just like Perfect. that. And you're gonna throw the head. So we'll throw the head in. We'll feed the circle of life. Circle the of sharks. life. All right, now we have to essentially devein the lobster. You ready? Yes. What so are we, we doing? We broke off a piece of the antenna. We're gonna stick it up through its through its poop hole, basically, <laughs> like this. Uh huh. Kind of get it Perfect. loose. Then we're gonna come through the other side. Try and grab it. There you go. There we go. And there it is. Send that overboard, and we've got our lobster tail. Deveined lobster tail. Tonight we are going to make a delicious surf and turf with some grass-fed fillets and of course our fresh catch. Now we are in the Bahamas so we are just going to be using the seasonings and supplies we brought over so nothing too fancy. For the steaks we are using McCormick Montreal steak seasoning and we're just going to coat the entire steak in it. This is actually one of our favorite steak seasonings but a friendly reminder if you do choose to use this seasoning the first ingredient is salt so definitely don't overdo it. Now it's time for the lobsters. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is butterfly your lobster tails using some sharp kitchen shears. Now you're really gonna wanna take your time with this and work the knife through the shell. Be careful not to cut yourself and take your time. It is not easy. We're gonna cut from the body of the tail all the way down to the end, but we're not actually gonna cut the end of the tail and we are gonna do this with both tails. Once you've cut your shells all the way down, you are going to pry the shell open carefully again. Please try not to cut yourself and you're gonna separate the meat from the shell. The goal here is to basically take the meat and rest it on top of the shell, but you still wanna be careful to leave the meat attached at the very bottom of the tail. Then we are going to season our lobster and we're just gonna use some salt-free onion and herb seasoning, something we just threw in our suitcase, a little bit of lemon juice and only a dash of salt. Now back to the steaks. First, we are gonna sear our steaks in a pan before finishing them off in the oven, which is set to 425 degrees. Fun fact, we are actually searing our steaks in this morning's bacon grease since we don't actually have any oil with us on the island. We never bought any, we didn't bring any over, so we're thankful for this morning's bacon. We like to do three minutes per side on the steaks and then into the oven for another six minutes or so, depending on the size of the steak and how you like it cooked. Almost done, so now the lobster tails are gonna go in the oven with the steaks, also at 425 degrees. These were some pretty decent sized tails, so they went in for all of 15 minutes, and at the very end, we boiled them on high for an extra two to three minutes to really kind of crisp that tail up and make it super yummy. Okay, that looks delicious. Now it is time to plate our dinners. So we actually did just bring some instant mashed potatoes over for a side. We don't really have any veggies cause well, we're on an island and we are gonna go ahead and plate our steak and our lobster tails and wow, it's time to eat. Alrighty, what time is it? It's like eight o'clock and we've been up since five o'clock this morning. We caught our lobsters. Well, Emily did an amazing job first time with the pole spear. I was at the helm collecting the lobsters, very important job. <laughs> we cleaned the lobsters and then we, we, cooked, we cooked the lobsters. So we've got a steak, we've got some instant mashed potatoes, and here we've got our lobster tail. Can you see that, Emily? Oh, yes. All right, so we, here we go. I think we just need to go for the taste. Just Overall go for taste it. test. Yeah. You ready? Mmm. Good. That is delicious, guys. It doesn't get any fresher. We hope you enjoyed watching this catch, clean, cook. We'll go ahead and put some details in the description box on the recipe we used, which is very simple and straightforward because we're in the Bahamas and only have the spices we brought. And we'll also go ahead and link Captain Jamie's information for you guys. If you guys do want to ever find yourselves in Bimini, he can take you yes, guys he lobstering. Does lobstering. He does more than lobstering. He shark does shark diving. dives, which we're going to come back in the winter He'll for that. He'll take you to the SS Sapona. That's seasonal. Want. He'll take you to the SS Sapona. He does so much stuff. So Wild dolphin swims. Wild dolphin swims. He does a ton, guys. But thank you.
you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope video. you enjoyed my first ever lobster Emily's pole first spear. ever lobster and pole spear. I'll get better, don't worry. I gotta give it a try at some point. We want you guys to get out there, have fun, and stay safe.